After spending just one day as the minister in the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, Daryl Smith has been removed from the cabinet. On Monday, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley removed Mr. Smith as the Minister of Sport and Youth Affairs and reassigned him to the Ministry of Housing. His reassignment came a day after a newspaper article exposed further allegations of sexual misconduct against the former sports minister, as well as a non-disclosure agreement of $150,000 of taxpayers' money. Questions were raised as to whether this incident is what inspired Monday's reshuffle. We are told by the Office of the Prime Minister that Dr. Keith Rowley's decision to revoke the appointment of Daryl Smith as Minister in the Ministry of Housing follows a meeting with Minister of Planning and Development, Camille robinson Regis and Mr. Smith, during which new information came to the attention of the Prime Minister. The meeting resulted in the appointment of a committee to thoroughly review the circumstances surrounding the dismissal and payment of compensation to Ms. Carrie Ann Moreau at the Ministry of Sport and Youth Affairs. The committee, to be chaired by former Permanent Secretary and Human Resource Expert Jackie Wilson, and including Poulaid Mutota of Wenad and attorney Eileen Green, is to report in two weeks. The Office of the Prime Minister is anticipating that all parties involved in any non-disclosure arrangement in this matter will lift such impediment so as to allow the fullest examination of the facts for the benefit of the public. The alleged sexual misconduct has prompted opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bisesa to take draft legislation to the parliament that allows action to be taken against sexual harassment in the workplace. She made the announcement during the UNC's Monday night forum in Barakpur. I am drafting a private member's bill to take to the parliament to deal with the issue of sexual harassment in the workplace and at educational institutions. I will take it to the parliament and let the government be bold-faced and shameless enough not to support law against sexual harassment. Just last week, Fixing TNT made a Freedom of Information Act request in relation to a settlement involving then Minister of Sport Daryl Smith and an unnamed former employee. Director of Fixin TNT Kirk Waith, commenting on Monday's reshuffle, had said the decision to leave former Minister of Sport Daryl Smith in the cabinet showed insensitivity towards women's issues. Opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bisesa says the ongoing Daryl Smith saga represents one of the lowest points in this failed Rowley led government. In a statement, Mrs. Prasad Bisesa said one day ago the Prime Minister still had confidence in Daryl Smith despite the swirl of allegations of sexual harassment, misconduct, and incompetence reported in the national media. She said today claiming her new information, claiming new information rather, was received. Dr. Rowley finally removed Daryl Smith from his cabinet, but failed to let the people of this country know what were his reasons for doing so. The opposition leader called on the Prime Minister to release this new information to the public immediately. Youth advocate Nikolai Edwards has described the dismissal of Daryl Smith as a government minister as a small victory in the fight to hold our leaders accountable. In a statement, Edwards said today the youth of this country take note of the Prime Minister's decision to revoke Mr. Smith's appointment and to launch an investigation into the allegations hovering over his head. This was a decision that had to be taken and demonstrates that the people of this country can use their voices to demand better of our leaders.